Hey, my name is Josh Holt. I'm 32 years old. I'm gonna teach you how to do a 360 downside tail whip. Wrap! Before you even wanna start looking at these, you should be real comfortable with threes and pretty dang comfortable with whips. It took me a long time to get them figured out. The reason that I do them is because I do my whip dick footed or hard footed or however you wanna say it. I kick them with my front foot. And so my three is a regular one. Uh, depending on which way you three and whip, I guess it's gonna be how it looks for you. So for me, it's a regular style three towards my back foot, kicking with my front foot for the tail whip. So when I approach the jump, I do it just like I would do a 360. I have the same speed. Um, I'll pull back and as I come back, I'll lean back off the jump because one of the biggest problems that I had with learning these tricks is I would come in real back wheel heavy and uh, front end high. So I'll lean back off the jump and uh, turn and right off the lip, I want to turn and you want to kick it like, like you mean it. Like if you come off the lip and you just kind of float it all lazy, it's going to come around. You're going to end up with some awkward decade looking thing. And so what I like to do is I like to come off the lip and I think 180 downside tail lip, like I'm almost hitting a quarter pipe. So I'll come off the lip and I'll kick it. And then it's, right as I kick it, you want to roll your wrist down because it's real easy and especially on this trick for it to flip out and you lose your bike. So you want to keep your wrist tucked under you, kick it, roll your wrist and bring your bike towards you. The closer your bike is to your body, the easier it's going to be. You're not going to see anybody doing a 360 Superman downside whip because it just stops. As soon as your bike gets away from you, it is not coming back. There's no like leverage to get it back to you. So the closer it is to your body, the better it's gonna be. So hit the lip, turn off like you would for a regular 360, not any quicker, not any slower, and just kick it, roll your wrist, bring it around. And as it's coming towards you, just focus on pedals. Forget about the three, think downside whip, get it finished, catch pedals, and then you'll just finish your 360, look for your landing and hopefully land it clean and roll away. There's a lot of things that can go wrong and there's a lot of messing with this trick to help you do it. For me, I personally started doing a lot of downside tail lips on hips and quarter pipes and stuff like that. And that kind of helped me learn the process of rolling my wrist and keeping it close to me. And uh, I was eventually able to take it to a 360 and go from there. And once you get those dialed in, you can start adding variations like throwing a bar first or, or doing two of them or whatever you can see. I'll try to do something else for you guys for this clip and see what we can get on there. Other than that, go out, work hard, enjoy it, and have fun on your bike. No! No! Holy crap. Talking about. Get that so shit. I'm talking. Oh, yeah. On clock. Woo! 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 Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh!